Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Job. We're going to be in chapter 18. Bildad, one of Job's horrible comforters, had this to say, starting in verse 1. Then Bildad the Shuhite answered and said, How long till you put an end to words? Gain understanding, and afterward we will speak. Why are we counted as beasts and regarded as stupid in your sight? You who tear yourself in anger, shall the earth be forsaken for you, or shall the rock be removed from its place? And he goes on from there. I want to make a very specific comment. It's going to be a little bit mean, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And even though it's mean, I believe it to be a very true statement. And thus, I'm going to say it. A lot of people are not going to like this, and this is directed specifically at my brothers and sisters in Christ. Why are we counted as beasts and regarded as stupid in your sight? Because you, stay, because you say a bunch of stupid stuff. I cannot recall the amount of times, whether it be on Facebook. Um, I don't do Facebook, but at the same time, I like, you know, I've seen the pages before. Friends have shown me posts and commented and texted me screen caps and all this stuff. Um, posts on Facebook, posts on YouTube, posts on forums in various places where Christians have said some of the dumbest things. And I'm just like, like, did you get a high school education? Forget college. Did you graduate high school? Do you understand the English language? I don't read Christian posts or any posts in foreign languages because I, right now, exclusively speak English. One day, hopefully that'll change, but right now, it's only English. I'm just like... Did you think about that before you typed it? Did you put any thought process other than a gut emotional reaction behind the words that you typed on the keyboard? In fact, who taught you how to type? I don't think you typed on the keyboard. I think you were kind of like, nyeh, 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 nyeh. This is a little bit of a rant, but there's a reason a lot of Christians are regarded as stupid and as beasts, and it's because we talk that way sometimes. We sound stupid. Our arguments for God, for Jesus, and for the Bible are based in ignorance, are based in stupidity, are based in some childish emotion. And those things do not wash in the real world, and they don't wash in the minds of the lost. I understand that it takes the Lord and His Spirit to open the eyes of the lost. But for goodness sakes, would it hurt us to have logical, reasonable arguments? One of the things that I try to do on this channel is I try to make sure that what I say is thought through, intelligent, thought provoking, and not some ridiculous drivel just spilling out of the top of my mind that's half baked, half thought through, and stuff that's just pouring out of my heart. There's a time and a place for a heart dump and for a, the, a heart shout. There are certainly times and places and moments for that. However, when you're, when you're trying to speak to someone on an intellectual level, or maybe not even an intellectual level, just a reasonable level, to be a reasonable human being, sometimes that is not the most appropriate place for a heart dump or a heart shout. Sometimes you have to suppress those emotions, suppress that oomph that you, that's coming from the inside of you, and reason it through with your mind. Think clearly. Think through what you're about to say. To all the believers out there who are listening to this video, this may come across as very offensive, and I'm not trying to say don't talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, however, will say if you're going to talk, well, period, I want to say, but if you're going to talk specifically about God or defend Christianity, if you don't know the answer, don't just come up with something you think is good and then put it online. It's going to be stupid, you're going to sound like a beast, and you're going to give Christianity and our God a bad name. And that's, that is blunt and to the point, just like me. So and, uh, if, if this video does get a lot of traffic, I know it's probably going to get quite a bit of hate. But I hate seeing my Bible, my God, and my Jesus who died for me misrepresented by stupid, ignorant people. Thank you very much for watching this video. Despite what I just said, believe it or not, I do love you. And I want the best for you, and I want the best for the great God who does love us, who did die to save us. And I want him represented accurately. 
and in love, I've got to issue forth a rebuke, even a harsh one, every now and then. And God bless.